Welcome back to my channel. If new here, please hit subscribe button. Hulk smash! Raw. All right, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, not really good at Hulk impressions. Let's get back to the, to myself here. Hey, welcome back. Let's loosen up a little. It's uh, two, almost 2.30 a.m. This is what I do. I, I like the nighttime. Just letting you guys know that little, little tidbit, 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 tidbit of information. The plans for today are as follows. We will be rehousing my Skullapenger heroes. Following that procedure, we will be feeding a variety of tarantulas. I have them laid out here behind the camera and I am very much looking forward to sharing this with you. If you would, I would greatly appreciate it if you would, excuse me, comment below. No, no, I'm not gonna ask you to comment yet because you know why? Because we haven't really, there has been no content to this video so far. So, but I will ask you to hit the subscribe button. It's uh, above me somewhere. There's a little bell, a little bell shaped thing next to it. And I would ask you all also to hit that so you are notified when I or we, you know, me and Hulk, upload another video. So that's number one. Number two, just watch the video because it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be a really good one today. I'm looking forward to sharing this time with you all and um, enjoy. One thing before we continue, um, I just wanted to explain something about this rehouse, about centipedes in general. So this is what I'm rehousing the centipede in. It's just a uh, 32 ounce deli cup with my mixture, cocoa fiber, peat moss, vermiculite, and a cork piece of cork bark. Um, the reason it's so moist and sprayed down is because I want, you know, most of the substrate to get pretty moist. The reason being is that tarantulas and centipedes are different in the fact that tarantulas have on their exoskeleton a thin layer of, it's like a waxy coating. Centipedes don't have this. Centipedes and tarantulas are different in the way that on tarantulas um, exoskeleton, they have a thin waxy layer that helps retain moisture, which is the reason why Tarantulas can go a long time without having, a, you know, a drink or being around water, being in a moist area. Centipedes are different. They don't have this waxy coating. So, you know, most times in the wild, if you're out looking for centipedes, you're going to find them in a spot where it's moist. Um, most likely like under a log or if you peel back some bark under a rock, anywhere it's moist. So even in, in the desert species, I mean, in most cases are gonna be in a more moist area. They don't hold the waxy coating, they don't retain moisture, and this is a reason you want to have a spot where it's gonna hold moisture like under a piece of cork bark or a rock or something in the enclosure where it's gonna stay, if you say you miss um, or forget and the rest of the enclosure dries out, but under that spot is gonna stay moist. You, you just, you want that. Keep your centipedes enclosures moisture. They don't have the waxy coating on their exoskeleton. And it's just a little tidbit, tidbit, tidbit of information. I'm liking that word tidbit tonight that you guys should know in case you don't. And if you ever wanna have centipedes in your collection, it is a really good piece of information to have in the back of your mind. So let's continue with this rehouse. And um, all right. I'm hoping this is gonna go fairly easy.
There you go. Perfect. Well, I hope you guys were able to see how that transpired. Oh, there's a little guy in his new home, his or her. Hope you enjoyed that little rehouse. Let's feed some teas, shall we? All right, guys, first up, we'll go with Afano Pelma Simani. AKA the Costa Rican Zebra Stripe. Bear with me while I find a nice fat cricket because I don't feel like getting roaches. Damn, I think I fed my gecko all the, all the fatty crickets. Holy shit. Hope you guys caught that. And we didn't even get the cricket. Next, we'll go with, oh. Okay, this one could potentially be pretty good. Here's my uh, Chilobrachis species, Electric Blue. Let's see. What would be the best way here? Right there. Yes. That was not a letdown. That was beautiful. Man, I wish you would come out. Maybe I should have you guys guess the species on this one. No, I won't. It's a C it's a Caribbean Versa color. You know. This one just molted for me, and every time it molts, the adult colors come out more and more. And it's like, yeah, it's a common tarantula, but I mean, you cannot just love a species more because this thing is so beautiful. I don't even know, you just look, just check it out. There you go. I wouldn't call that a disappointment. All right, this is gonna be a little pokey action for you. A little regalis action. Trying to lure her out for you guys to see. Okay. Here is green bottle blue, one of them. Never a let down.
chromatopelma cyanopubescence. No, 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 don't think, okay. Mm, we're gonna move on here. Actually to the last one, last but not least, that's for sure. Last but not least, Chilobrachus discolis. This is my female. And for her, we have a nice male red runner. This is the one that does a good, the real good happy dances. Well, I just realized I only had the second camera rolling on that last uh, Chilobrachus. Um, so obviously that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I know the rehousing was awfully uneventful. Had some good feedings. That Chilobrachus species electric blue was awesome. What else was good? That first one, even though it missed and then I got a phone call and that's when she went back and ate the cricket. Yeah, there were some good ones. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. Please subscribe if you're new here. If you uh, just check this video out, I have videos like this fairly often. So stick around. There will be more. There will be better. I have a few reptile room tours that I have planned. One or two collaborations, I hope. And uh, we'll get rolling. Get rolling from there. So I, uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. Leave a like. Um, if I get 100,000 likes, I will do a, I'll let 15 tarantulas crawl around my body wearing nothing but a thong. And um, besides that, that's it. Leave a comment and I'll see you next time on the next one. It'll be soon. We love you. Thanks for watching. Peace.